Blanca says, hi, I'm a beginner and I need advice on how to create an organizational structure in SharePoint. Uh, and she is a beginner because she spelled SharePoint with the lowercase p. So we, we know that's true. I, I tried Power Apps, uh, but I don't know much about it. And when I create an application from SharePoint data, I don't know how to upload it, it back to SharePoint. Thanks for the advice. So I'm curious what a Power App SharePoint architecture would look like, but that's just me. I, um, why, why SharePoint though? You know, why not using Viva Engage? We can go better questions. You know, you can market. You can have that feeding into your SharePoint side. Well, that that's the next question. <laughs> and, 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 My and question can, you is, can you define oh, hold on, a solution? My Sorry? question is: it, the org chart is she saying like I need an org chart that's, for the yeah. That's wicked from the people, or they're trying no, to do no, an no. org chart for like their organize. Right. No, I like, do, do I need an organization or do I need a person reporting yeah, she, structure? She's, yeah, she's, it, to me, because it says an organizational structure in SharePoint, like she wants to display the organizational structure of the organization. So, my question is have you seen the web part called org chart? Um, two, a lot of people, um, you can use search to build, um, you know, different, uh, different things like corporate directories and have filters and based off the of departments and stuff and pulling from, you know, your different features, um, within, you know, that, uh, from your profile, like your manager, that's how you essentially build your org chart. Um, but you can do that for corporate directories and all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of things that you wouldn't need to go custom development to do to pull the org chart information. Now to make it pretty, you probably need a, you know, someone who's a little bit of a designer to help make it look pretty, but just to pull the data, it's technically already there. Well, I put a link in the um, comments in the spreadsheet for the Visio org chart yeah. wizard. Yeah. So you can extract it out to Excel. And I've used that to, to plan org, like the whole architecture of a SharePoint environment. It doesn't have to be used to create an org chart. It's right. just a, a way to create related um, hierarchies within your organization. So uh, if, if they want to use that, it just, is she trying to create architecture? Is she yeah. trying to create a, you know, an actual like, you know, yeah. reporting structure with people or the org chart of a company? Yeah. But, and and if you want something that's pretty, that's already pre-built, there is one out there on GitHub that I've seen, probably a couple of by this time, because it's been a while. There are some org charts already built that already look pretty that you can you can bring in. Well, and the org chart is built into SharePoint. If 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 that, yeah. your Active Directory is properly um, yeah. populated, yeah. yeah. If your manager fields are correct, you get good data. But um, it, yeah, could could you do a flow that? came from from there dropping into Visio and the Visio part dropping into SharePoint and do it. Could you do that? Can't say I've played with it, but SharePoint uses Excel, or Visio uses Excel to create the yeah. and you kind of have to refresh yeah. it. So you could create the yeah. you could draw, create it in an Excel workbook and then use that as the data source um, yeah. for Visio anyway, if that's what they're looking for. But yeah, and um, yeah, you could get super fancy and use the graph and then use Power Automate to grab from the graph and then use the yeah. connector and then link it in and then dump it into somewhere and then represent that in Visio. Maybe have a data for a dataverse. <laughs> you, yeah, you can export it out to Excel and create a Visio yeah. chart and publish it once a week or yeah. something. So many things you could do, but uh, but yeah, yeah, I don't feel like we have all the information there or it's yeah. not very clear. To give her a very straight. I don't think she wants a. This might be one of those questions. <laughs> I don't think she wants an org chart. She wants someone to tell her how to organize her SharePoint. Like, how how do I make sites and site structures and lists and libraries and where do I put them and yeah. how do I organize my company's SharePoint architecture? I think but that's that makes sense. Sense. She's she's power power app, so. Yeah, I was gonna say that only makes sense if you read the first sentence. If you read the rest, she tried to build a power app to do this, and she wouldn't build a power app to, to set up a SharePoint well, architecture. 
Well, this yeah. folks is why it's important to uh, when when you're asking for help and for guidance out on a forum somewhere is to put a little more detail and explain the scenario what you're trying to do is because you know so often like this one I, I, I when I my first reading too I saw I was kind of divided on is it a SharePoint architecture question or and I as I read on I went to the same conclusion like she's talking about org charts yeah. and. Yeah, like there are third-party solutions. There's the org, you know, the, the 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 app. I mean, there's there's multiple options. You can go build something that's out there, but it this would be great if we could follow up with uh, Lenka and ask, you know, uh, some other questions. But yeah. yeah, we we can't. Yeah, I was with I was with the architecture thing at first until I read the next sentence, and I was like, nope, she really means an org chart. So I, yeah, I, I but think, it, it's still iffy. Can I the say that? that uh, I have so much. Oh, I'm sorry, Jonathan. You, I didn't hear you. Sorry. I, I, I think the second question is unrelated and showing that she's new to SharePoint. She also, through SharePoint, tried to create a Power App and didn't know how to put the data back from Power App back into to SharePoint, which is either a submit button on a form, a patch statement on fields, or something of that general nature. Uh, maybe even a power automate flow if you want to get fancy yeah. uh, that's how i reconciled the difference is uh, how do i structure my stuff in sharepoint and also i tried from power apps i'm brand new and i didn't understand what to do i'm asking for two pieces of help in one question possibly yeah norm you were going to add something I have uh, a lot of empathy for for Lenka and and people in Lenka's question or position. Excuse me. But conceivably, she's just trying to get to an end result, making an org chart. Presumably, she's working in HR, and this is part of their ongoing responsibilities. And then they're going to use the tools that they have at their disposal. Well, I'm in SharePoint. I have a SharePoint site. I have a list. There's that power apps button. Let's let's create a way, and then you end up going down this this slippery slope of God help the poor person in HR trying to learn power apps when they don't need to, mm -hmm. or having to go through all these solutioning. Could you imagine being in HR and then someone like blasting all these questions at you about power this and power that and Azure this and Azure that, and it's like it's ridiculous. It's like it's it's really hard for just a, a normal user trying to get their their job done. And this is where uh, you know all the people on this call. We this is what we yeah. can see, hopefully are doing. And we you know advocate for the users, try and map out a, a requirement to a solution that is something that they're capable of doing. And uh, as a recovering HR professional. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I completely relate to this, this, you know, every time somebody got hired, you know, promoted How many years sober? How many years and sober? I was the person that I had that had to maintain that org chart and publish it and print it and post it and email it. And yeah, I don't, you can tell I don't miss being an HR you, professional. You drank a lot during those days, didn't you? <laughs> I, I have, I mean, potentially there's another solution if they have Visio. The desktop client there is a way for you to do a custom import so they can connect to a sharepoint foundation list so they can connect to a site and just import the data there and then work with whatever shapes they want to work within the org chart or work with a specific template that they already kind of have set up that they like in visio and then just bring that data in and you have it assigned to those shapes and and you're good to go so i think there are if we take it back to the basics of maybe not having to work with power apps or power automate or some of those other things as we were saying like that might be too too complex for for really what the need is here visio go to that data ribbon look at your custom import choices it could be an access database it doesn't necessarily have to be an excel workbook that you're bringing in you've, you've got i think more flexibility there and also from the learning resources that you have available to you online uh, we're asking more questions here of us to help you along the way, too. We have some Visio MVPs we could, of course, reach out to and get some answers also if you need it. Uh, I think that that might be a quicker 
way to get you up and running and then also for managing it down the road right because as you have changes the having to go back in and change that automate the power automate flow or change power apps or whatever you're using that might be a little bit more complex too so i mean i, I don't know if i missed a little bit maybe i missed the point here but um for an organizational chart, it, 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 and maybe the question was trying to say, how do I build an entire organizational chart, like top to bottom, and, and display it and show it out? But there's tons of features in SharePoint and Teams that already will show organizational features, right? In Teams, you can right-click on a person and show organization and see those details. And I'm, I'm trying to understand... And like I say, maybe I missed something, but I'm trying to understand how what what's the actual scope of the ask here? Is it to show like the entire organization? Oh, excuse me, entire organizational chart, like top to bottom, several levels deep in one go? Is that the ask? I, I think that's what we're assuming. I mean, without yeah. being able to ask follow up questions, because that was my thought was that uh, you know if you're the danger of building an external solution, whether you build your own automation or you use a third party solution, you're pulling it outside of that to be able to go in and structure the organization, move pieces. Maybe you're doing a reorg and you want to be able to see all the pieces and move things around. Yeah. You're it's, it's then dead to the live system and that, you know, it, ideally you have something that you're, you're viewing that information, you're making changes there in the system, not outside the system. So you're not having to do a whole bunch of other work to bring those changes back in. Yeah. Just but, leverage, the, leverage the profile services that we have, right? There's, there's not only AAD, there's uh, SPODS, which will give you the option to like, we have dotted line scenarios and we can, you can, take an individual user and you can see their dotted line connection to their manager and so on and so forth. So that, yeah, that, that there's a whole, all the data's there. It's right to the folks that were speaking prior to me. It's just a case about how do you build the canvas that displays that information if they want something more complex than what we have already. Thank you.